No, I actually I was going to say something about the economy because I've been hearing little things like the economy is not doing well. But I'm feeling actually pretty good because I invested very wisely. I'm so confident in my portfolio that I don't even check the prices anymore. And I did it because I did a contrarian point of view. Everyone always says diversify. But diversify means you get all these stocks and you get some winners and some losers. What are you investing in losers for? I did two things, and I think these two things are really the American way. Number one, I thought big. Number two, I was easily persuaded by television advertising. Number one, think big. Think about what people buy that's big. Cars. I put a lot of money in General Motors stock. <laughs> think about big things. Flat screen TVs. Those things are huge. I put a lot of money into Circuit City. <laughs> think about what's bigger than a house. What better stock could you buy than Fannie Mae? <laughs> and then think about it. This is where I went the extra mile. When people buy big things, they insure them. <laughs> so I found this company, AIG. <laughs> put a lot of stock in there. It's, they had great advertising on television, too. And the best part is, let me let you know on a little secret, I didn't just put all of my money in those stocks. I put all of my wife's money in those stocks. I didn't tell her yet. Someday she'll thank me. <laughs> I'm waiting for like maybe the 50th wedding anniversary to break the news, because an investment strategy like that is just pure gold. So I've got no problems. You haven't heard anything bad, have you, about those companies? <laughs> no? Should I call my accountant? Well, actually, I never call my account. It's strictly email. I found this guy in Nigeria. I, well, actually, he contacted <laughs> me. And the thing of it is, the fact that he would still be concerned about my money when his family was in grave danger, I think that speaks for itself. He's dedicated to his profession. And people always say you want to meet your financial advisor in person, right? No, you don't. Have you ever met a financial advisor? It's one sell job after another. You can't trust somebody like that. Email is very direct. Send money. It's a very, there's no sales job going on there. And besides, when you think about it, if you're going to send all your money somewhere like Nigeria, just think, Nigeria. There's lots of oil in Nigeria. This makes perfect sense. Send your money somewhere there's a lot of money. It'll make friends. You'll get a lot of money. So like I said, I've got no worries.